Short corner. And he's picked somebody out for this pullback. Nice goal! We're coming off an incredible victory at home. But we're heading on the road to take on Union Berlin. Sitting in 8th place with just 4 points still well off the leaders. We've still got a lot of work to do. This is episode 5 of Werder Bremen Retake the Bundesliga here at Total FIFA Career Mode. Welcome back to Total FIFA Career Mode. You saw where things stand, we're coming off an incredible victory at home, and now we've got to go on the road against Union Berlin. This is a classic trap game where we can easily let our guard down. Union Berlin, down at the bottom of the table, and we're coming off a high point. We need to make sure we don't underestimate them. Before we get started, hit that subscribe button for me if you would. Also, don't forget to follow us on Twitter at TotalFIFACM. Also, you can follow us on Instagram at Total FIFA Career Mode, and of course on our website, TotalFIFACareerMode.com. Here's how we're going to line them up today. We're going to go back to that 4-3-3 with Sangare playing that holding position, and we're going to put Weston McKinney up at the striker position. Now, he's not a traditional striker, but he can do it, uh, and he doesn't really lose a lot of overall rating up there, and, and we're looking for an answer with Josh Sargent. Uh, being a little disappointing early on, so we're going to give it a shot. Early in the game, an early cross, Francisco Trincao unable to corral it in time. But right out of the gate, we're putting the pressure on on offense, able to maintain possession, building another attack. Foden over to Egestein, and oh, just tripped up, unable to get a shot, no foul called, probably not enough contact. We're getting the possession early, we're getting the, uh, the good looks early. This is a good sign. Weston McKinney in that striker position today. Good attempt, looks to fire, just blocked, regains. Foden up ahead, point blank range. Oh, blocked, unable to get it back. That's a good look for Foden. How did that get stopped? Just gets an arm on it, tries to go near side. Had the whole other goal, other half of the goal to work with. Probably should have gone over to the left side. Up ahead to Egestein, he's got a man in front, tries to cross, nothing doing. A lot of good looks here early in these first 10-15 minutes. Union really not putting a lot on us on the attack, so we're able to really kind of go right after it, be a little more aggressive than we than we typically are. This Union team is not real talented. Max Egestein up ahead, back to McKinney, pass ahead to Egestein. Oh, and he slides it underneath the, the outcoming goalie. How did he get that through? Max Egestein with a give and go from Weston McKenney. The midfield connection with McKenney playing as the striker but acting kind of as a false nine comes out. A little give and go, dink and dunk. The goalkeeper comes out and Egestein actually gets clipped by the goalkeeper. Let's see, how does he get this through? Nutmegs him right through the legs. Doesn't get a lot on it. You see that barely trickle in. But a goal is a goal, and after four or five really good quality looks here in the first uh, 20 minutes or so, uh, we're able to connect on one. Max Egestein, who's not been a big goal scorer to date, but has gotten some good looks, and it's about time he, uh, he, he got one through. Great start for Vera Bremen today. Soon after, though. Union Berlin on the attack, finally going to put something forth now that we've got a 1-0 lead. Good look, and oh, the header. A good look, Maximiano saves the point-blank shot, but they get the rebound. Skies for the header, and a little bit of luck on our side. Union Berlin cannot get the home bounce just off the post. Easily could be 1-1 here. We got a little bit fortunate there. Another good look up ahead to McKenney. That's about our third or fourth point-blank look where we just can't quite corral the ball in time. 27th minute, Union Berlin building on us. Defense trying to hold strong. Simakan coming over for the steal. Fantastic defensive play. Bada Shield gives it away. He has struggled with that mightily this year. 
They struggle clearing the ball. Cross coming in. Strong header. And oh, again. Again. Just wide. Just wide. This one doesn't hit the post, but almost as close. That's the second point blank header that has missed by a matter of inches, not feet. Union Berlin could have a couple goals on us here. We've, we've had a little bit of luck today. Firing away from the top of the box, no real threat. Another corner coming in, good head on the ball. Simican able to clear it up ahead to Agustin, and he's got a lot of grass in front of him. Look at him go, look at him go, nobody in his way. Defenders not quick enough to get in front. And Agustin going the length of the field, crossing over to his brother, and oh, unbelievable. He and the goalie converge at the same time, and the goalkeeper comes away with the ball. It's about the fourth or fifth one of those today. Another weak attempt for Union Berlin, and that's about all they've been able to muster here in the first half. Their, their, their traditional attempts have not been much uh, much difficulty for Maximiano. They've had a couple of headers that could have gone in but did not. You see a pretty evenly matched first half, 53-47 to 47 on the possession. Similar number of shots. We were able to convert one. They have missed very narrowly on two shots. So a very even first half here which is concerning because they're not a very good team. I'd like to be a little more in control of this game. Here we are, 48th minute. Eggestein setting up for a corner. Gonna go short into Foden. Out to Kaseki. Kaseki over to Johannes Eggestein. Ooh, doesn't exactly fire. A bit of a misfire there. If he'd have put anything on that, he might have had a chance. McKenney up ahead to Foden. This is a good look, gotta convert. Oh, goalkeeper comes out, but he fouls Foden. The keeper comes out and he fouls Phil Foden. Not going to get carded, it doesn't look like, but we're going to get a penalty kick out of this. He must have gotten contact on Foden before... Well, I don't know, that might be a bit of a gift, I'm not going to lie. We're going to take it, but that might be a bit of a gift. And if that's a foul, we should have about four or five PKs today, so... I'm not sure we quite earned this one, but we're going to take it anyway. Johannes Agustin's going to step up and take this one. Foden's over one on the year. We want to make sure we convert this one. Agustin fires and puts it through. He puts it through. Not exactly convincingly. If the goalkeeper had moved a step to his left, he'd have had it. But nevertheless, it's a goal for Johannes Agustin. He joins his brother on the score sheet, and Werder Bremen takes a 2-0 lead. You can take another look at this. He puts a good boot on it, drills it with authority, but not exactly on the corner. But hey, better safe than sorry. At least we're not missing wide. Virgil's please, that's not easy to do. And Werder Bremen takes a 2-0 lead here in the 52nd minute. And now we really just need to maintain possession and run this clock out. Something hopefully we can do against this Union Berlin squad. 65th minute up ahead, still pushing. Foden. Fires from, from long distance. Not a bad look. But not a lot coming out of that. 70th minute. Still 2-0. Union lining up for a corner. In with the header. Oh, and he finds the net. For the second game in a row, we allow a, a tough angled header on a corner. That's two of them in a row. On, on what looks like almost an impossible angle as we look at it here again. This is not a traditional angle, he's not exactly right in front. Comes out to the near post and then goes far post across the entire net. Maximiano had his post covered, he's got help there. And for the second game in a row, that's almost a mirror image of the one we gave up to Augsburg last game. So it's 2-1 now and, and all of a sudden we got a ball game, so we're going to make a substitution here. Noah Okafor is going to come on for the first time this year in place of Johannes Agustin. He's just getting a little fatigued. We're going to we're going to get some fresh legs on here. Coming back up, Kaseki with a beautiful cross, and this could be it. Oh, and McKinney just whiffs or, or doesn't even put a leg on it. Somehow that gets all the way through. I don't know how. That was lined up beautifully. Agustin with the steal, top of the box, fires. Oh, what a shot. What a shot by Max Agustin. That was a fucking howler. Boy, did he get a boot on that one. Top of the box, corrals it off the bounce and doesn't even wait for it to come back down. Just rips and fires. 
Max Egestein with his second goal of the game, and this one with significantly more authority than the first. Alright, now that we got a little buffer here, we're going to make another substitution. I want to get Josh Sargent some minutes. He's been a disappointment so far, but he's one of the reasons I wanted to do this career. So I want to get him some time. We're going to give Phil Foden a breather, drop McKinney back to that attacking midfield position, and put Sargent up top where he belongs. 88th minute, up ahead. Ooh, good look. Oh, but he was offsides. Okay. One last sub. Jaka Bajul is going to come in for the last couple minutes against... Uh, Union Berlin here, come on for Sangare. He's going to play that uh, defensive forward, midfield position. We're really just trying to run out the clock here. Hopefully not give up another goal as they cross it in. Decent well. look. Ooh, a nice header, stuff. a good save. But that's about all they can muster in the attack, and that's going to do it for us. A nice, easy win finally. We have not had a nice, calm game yet. Uh, I didn't expect it to be on the road, but I'll take it. Max Eggestein, absolutely brilliant today. Two goals, really leading the charge and, and taking charge of that midfield and, uh, and, and drilling home that screamer at the end to seal it. So, uh, man of the match for sure, no doubt about that for, for Max Eggestein, but a good all-around performance against a bad team, and, and we went out and took care of business the way you're supposed to against bottom-of-the-table teams. And we don't want to be a bottom of the table team, so we can't lose to them. We need to go out and, and take care of business and, and get these three points. You can't come away with one here. You need three. You can see it was a, a relatively evenly matched game. We possessed the ball more, got a few more shots off. So we, we, we took control of the game, but it wasn't some overwhelmingly dominant performance. But, you know, we, we, we did what we had to do, and we, we got our, our three points and three goals I'll take absolutely any time. So after four matches, let's look at the standings. We're sitting in seventh place. That bumps us up a, a spot, but we're still a few points off the lead here. Seven points is is a, is a good start here, but we're still five points off of the uh, of the two-way tie with, between Wolfsburg and Bayern uh, in the top spot. But we're only you know we're we're tied for one of the European spots, and we've you know got a shot here. So we're in we're in good good position here. And after after four games, it's going to get tougher though. We haven't played anybody too good yet, but coming up next we've got uh, Leipzig and we've got Dortmund, and they're fifth and fourth on the table. So uh, our two toughest matches to date coming up and two teams that are sitting right in front of us, so a chance to really move up the table here coming, coming forward. That's going to do it for us here on Episode 5 of Werder Bremen retake the Bundesliga. Don't forget to follow us on social media, Twitter, Total FIFA CM, Instagram, Total FIFA Career Mode, and check us out on our website, TotalFIFACareerMode.com, where we've got detailed stats uh, on, on every player and every game uh, during this career. Thanks for joining us once again. We're going to have another episode coming up very soon. This is Total FIFA Career Mode.